This park is located three-fifths in between Toronto to Kingston. Its name is Presqu'ile in French and means almost island in English. That's because Presqu'ile had the shape of an island. I felt like the best part of the park was the waterfront camping sites. There, 16 kilometers worth of trails and roads along various shorelines, it looks like we're driving right beside the ocean. But in reality, Lake Ontario is the smallest of the five Great Lakes. We can swim anywhere on the shoreline, so social distancing here came easily. The next morning, we came to the secluded beach. Its waters were crystal clear and there was barely anyone near us, so it felt like our own private beach. Here, the rocks have been carved slowly over time by the waves. Because of that, the rock floor has leveled to look like stairs. On this 2.5 kilometers long stretch of sandy beach, people only looking for day use can come here during the day. The facility therefore provides places to park and wash them. The walk from the parking lot and the beach takes around 5 minutes. Wow, the flower-like sand seems to go on forever. But the smell! A man who's been using this park for 15 years told us that this smell has never been here before. Ever since coronavirus started, they stopped clearing all the algae on the beach. We couldn't stand this smell, so we moved to another beach near our campsite to see the sunset over the lake. It was so breathtaking. We enjoyed the sunset while we skipped hundreds of rocks on the smooth, calm surface of the lake. The next day, we drove to the lighthouse located at the tip of the park. Along the way, we saw thousands of picnic areas in front of the water. After driving past the tall and emerald green trees, we arrived at the tip of Presqu'ile. The story of a missing cargo ship in 1804 is written on plaques by the past. This plaque explains how this almost island is a refugee for many types of bird species. There are many other stories to read from if you enter this lighthouse center. This lighthouse is the second oldest operating lighthouse in Ontario. The end of our trip finished like this. Next year, I wish we can come back here to camp again on a waterfront site. I also want to visit the one kilometer long boardwalk that has been closed due to COVID-19.